How did we like it? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another striker break. New intro. There we go. How's everybody doing? Welcome to another striker break. We've got the brand new release 2024 Tops Heritage and more. We're going to start with break number one. And I've got everything dialed in a little bit better this time. So Wednesday, still a few glitches in the matrix. I was only able to get it up to 720p, but we should be rocking it full HD right now. Let me know if you hear me, if you see me, if everything's five by five before we get rolling. Got my stream deck dialed in as well. Let's see if this works. Discount codes back for card shells, dugout mugs, and stand-up displays. You can use those codes for discounts at all the stores listed. Also got a new breaker mat coming in. All kinds of new stuff. How do you say we get into it? I can find my blade. Five by five, sweet. Mike is right up in my grill. That's a little better. Seems awfully bright. Hold on, let me check one thing. I'm afraid to open up my settings in case I, I just feel like everything will crash if I do anything. Jordan Lawler. Only missing trench coat guy. Ah, I forgot to include trench coat guy in the story. There's always time to redo the whole thing and start from scratch just to include trench coat guy. I think I have a mission. Is 
Is it raining where you're at? We had some games canceled yesterday. Some games canceled today. Hold on a second. There we go. Oh, also one of the filters. So I, I had to download everything again for my whole, like, this whole thing is called uh, a scene. I had to, like, re-download everything, and there were some filters to keep the mic in check that I don't know where they originally came from, but I'm going to have to get some new ones. Sequel, maybe? I think you're right. What size shells for standard chrome? Well, you get the 35-point top loaders that fit. There's, like, value ones that are cheaper. You can get whatever you want, but these ones are 35-point for standard, and then... They'll even fit regular chrome, but if you get any parallels or autographs, you're going to want a 35 point. And these ones have a UV coating on them, and it's a single frame design. People don't know what that means, so I'll tell you. Some people don't. See on the bottom how this is like three separate frames that are like welded together, whereas this is a seamless frame on the higher quality ones. It just looks a little nicer. How about that, Bobby, indeed? He is crushing. Raining in Washington State? No way. Okay, it's it's pretty grody here with the rain. We'll do half at a time. See what we can find. What's that flipped around? Is that an SP? Oh, nice. Box number one, Ellie image variation. Make sure I got break number one pulled up here. I do. And that one's going to Greg. Good start. Standworthy card number one. Ah, uh, SPs are flipped around. <clears throat> White border bow. Lucky Peter, how are we? Zach Gallon. Low number. It's weird saying low number. Usually it's high number. Wonder why they just decided to change that up. I know they had a reason, but people are asking me, and I'm like, ah, I don't know. Is anybody going to a game anytime soon? Let's hear about it. We've got a black and white variation as well. So this box is already pretty nice. Black and white variation, Ellie image variation, and we haven't even gotten to our hit yet. I'll put him over here. One second, I just gotta adjust this cord. It's in my way. Andrew, thanks for the subscribe. On your lunch break, you did pull a Bobby HFA out of a blaster. Sweet. Granky. Going to the D-backs Reds in a few weeks. I like the Reds tonight. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try a new thing here. Let's see if it works. Oh. Got the stream deck dialed in, you guys, and all the settings. It should be like a lot more crisp on the screen, too. Here's our Chrome. Anyway, what I wanted to talk about was the Red Sox game tonight. I like the Red Sox against Reed Detmers. It's a nine total. Red Sox are minus 118 favorites at home. Just from a, like a fantasy sense. Even though there's no Devers, but I also like the Reds at the White Sox. 
Here's our hit, Lindor. And I'm not talking about from like a betting standpoint. I'm just talking about from a fantasy standpoint. Uh, daily fantasy. Lindor. Let's see, who do we have that looks good? So it's Chris Flexen on the mound for the White Sox, and it's an 18-mile-per-hour wind blowing out in Chicago. So that's good for power. Really what you're doing is you're just – you're looking for home runs. You're chasing home runs and huge games. We got Ellie, switch hitter, batting lefty in the six hole against a right-handed flexin with the wind blowing out. Not only that, but they've got a bunch of lefties on that team that can crush. Will Benson, Jake Fraley, even Nick Martini. He had a two home run game already. So those are some guys. Check something here. Think Yoshida's breakout game is tonight? Well, it's certainly possible, but the, the thing about that is they're going up against a lefty. So Yoshida, you know, the lefty-lefty thing is tough, can be. You know, there's the better lefties can mash opposing lefties, no problem. But from a, like a one game standpoint, usually I don't roll out lefties against lefties unless there's a significant advantage in ownership. Flex and stinks. No, not yet, Keith. I, I haven't started my... I ha, I'm going to do it this week. I'm going to try to do it this weekend. Got to put a qualifier on there. There's no telling if I'm really... I'm going to do it this week. I, I, but I want to. I want to do it this weekend. Get my PSA order in. Send that Bedard in. It's a cool trout. I don't think I've seen the low number trout yet. But I've got that Jason Dominguez gold I want to send in and probably at least 20 more cards. The Ellie Aqua, which we've got uh, that last PSA order, 39 cards. Everything's listed in my eBay store. So if anybody's interested, people have already been swooping some stuff up. So get in while the getting's good before it's gone. There's best offer on everything. Just shoot me an offer. What do you say we switch it up a little and get some chrome involved? 2022 Tops Chrome. We've got three breaks tonight. All going to be the same. And then next week, Tops Chrome Black. How about the A's? If you're baiting me into talking about the A's, not going to happen unless there's a reason to play them in DFS, which there's not tonight. Other than the fact, okay, there is a small reason to play him tonight, and I did consider it because they're going up against Jake Irvin. It's not the best pitcher in the league, to put it nicely. But it's a seven and a half run total, so you really don't want to play too many guys on a huge slate with a seven and a half run total, especially when like Cardinals at Diamondbacks tonight is a nine and a half. The Cardinals. And the Diamondbacks are both in decent spots for offense. I like the Diamondbacks against Mats, Lefty. We're talking Guriel, Walker, Suarez, Moreno, Grichik, Alexander, Newman. These are all righties. And Marte at the top is a switch hitter. And then you got Corbin Carroll. Lefty, lefty, doesn't matter. He can do it against anybody. Big perp coming up. That's right, Liam. Erickson Profar had a five war with the Padres and like a negative three war with every other team combined. Maybe he's just a Padre for life.
What other games are we, can we talk about? Well, we got the Rangers at Astros, uh, Texas matchup. You want to talk about some offense. There's going to be some offense in that game, too. We got a night full of offense tonight. <clears throat> There's going to be some a, a few big scores. And it's one of the big scores is probably going to come from the Texas Rangers at Houston Astros. It's Dane Dunning at J.P. France. Do you think J.P. France is going to shut down Simeon, Seeger, Langford, Garcia, Carter? Plus, plus, plus. While it can happen, and will from time to time, I like the Rangers on the road. Also, the Mariners might get a dub tonight against Jordan Wicks. They have a pretty right-handed heavy lineup, and they're going up against a lefty. Yeah, Bob just brought it up. I didn't even see that. Just brought it up naturally. Twins at Tigers. It's raining here. I don't know if that game's going to play. Or Oh, Scooble and Lopez. That's going to be a low-scoring game, but 26-mile-per-hour wind blowing out in Comerica. I don't know that that game plays. Look at this. We got an X-Fractor Auto. William Contreras. Going to the Braves. Justin. France isn't an ace, but won't get destroyed. I agree. I don't know that he's... I don't know that that'll... If you just look at what Vegas says, Vegas says that they're going to put up some runs today. A nine and a half total, that's a big total for April. And Vegas knows what they're doing. Maybe it's the Astros that put up all the runs. But it's a very even spread. It's, um, you know, the Rangers are only plus 114 on the road. So minus 134 at home, minus plus 14 on the road. That's basically a coin flip. There's Julio. Like if JP France was minus 200 at home right now, I'd be like, okay, yeah, the Rangers definitely, well, most likely aren't going to shellack him, but... Uh, he might get shellacked. They both might. Or it could be a 1-0 game. That's baseball for you. SPs and Heritage. Yeah, I don't know why, man. Why they're uh, numbered, low numbered this year instead of high numbered. Just standard box of chrome here, except for the fact that we got a X Fractor Auto. Do you have faith in the Tigers? <clears throat> no. I mean, I don't know exactly what you mean by that. But. No. I, I've said it since the beginning of this year, this year's team. They're not going to score a lot of runs. The only way they're going to win is by defense and pitching, which is how you win. But you got to at least be able to put some runs up, and their offense is not good. So they're going to go through bad stretch. They're going to have a couple of bad stretches this season when they can't score at all, and they're not getting wins. They're going to lose. They'll probably go through a stretch where they lose like – I don't even want to think, like 8 out of 10, yeah, 12 out of 14, something like that. They're going to go through a couple of stinky stretches. But then they'll they'll have a winning streak or two as well. So I think they, they probably finish right around 500, maybe a game or two lower. But the division is very bad. So we, we could win the division still. I think the Guardians are better this year. So that's going to be a little bit tougher. And we got, hate to say we got lucky with the Royce Lewis injury. It's not like a good thing. And I don't want to make it sound like that's a lucky thing to have happen, but he's a really good player. So 
just improves the chances that the Tigers could potentially win the division. And we have enough pitching to win some games. And maybe some of the bats turn around. You know, Torkelson's got to step it up. Kerry Carpenter, everybody's got to step it up. Baez got to stop striking out. Not going to happen. But at least I think they're like a more fun team to watch this year with a higher probability to get wins than last year. Can we find the striker breaks SP? I think I saw some kind of a rare card. See if we can find it. Uh, yeah, and another thing, I mean, I talked about this last week, but this is full strength Tigers. Lose a couple of guys, it's going to get a lot more difficult to get wins. Where's our rare? Twins look lost without Royce Lewis. It's just a bummer. Big time. Because then you know what's going to happen next. Who's going to go down next? So then when Buxton goes down, it's going to be really bad. Not if, but when. We'll do one more of these, then we'll start busting into the tribute. Triple Jackson tops now card today. Oh, I didn't even see that. Mike Hargrove. Music's too loud, sorry. Yeah, this is a loud, this, this song sounded loud. I wish I didn't have to adjust it for every song, every, every couple songs. It's hard for me to tell on my end because I don't have headphones on. I can't hear, like, I don't have a monitor. But just keep me updated. Like, if it ever gets too loud, don't be afraid to say, dude, it's blaring. Turn it down a tick. Just do a little at a time. Man, that's a hard auto to see. Facsimile auto. Do I think all the tops now relics are too expensive? They almost all of them sell out immediately. So that would tell me no. There's only so many of them and then you can get, they're all numbered and you have a good chance of getting like a really low numbered one and a unique game used on field relic of like a base or something that you can't get just anywhere. I think those are really cool. The base relic where someone got their first hit or set some kind of a MLB record. I like those. 325 for a base from Holiday's first game. It's too much in your book. Don't, you don't have to buy it then. <laughs> Other people will. I'm not going to buy it for that price. Cade Marlowe, white border. Cash can pulled a Clayton HFA. 
That's not bad, man. He's a Hall of Famer. Arc Entertainment dropping a $4.99 sticker chat. Thank you. Appreciate that. Orioles are giving out exclusive holiday shirts tonight at the game. Scalpers will be all over that. Yeah, I'd want one. Burt Bly 11. We got a real one. Look at that old man sig. It's great. One second. Adjust my screen here. Minnesota Twins, Jack and Thomas, with the Burt Bly Levin Auto. This is a great old man, Sig. Yeah, hit that like button. You wouldn't mind. I, I appreciate it. It helps out the channel. Only takes you a second. Chrome coming up. Here it is. Piggy. That is a silver to 375. Retail. Yeah, I don't dabble in retail for heritage. Unless it's like something like 2018 where just the base rookies would be very collectible still. And the hobby is so expensive that it's unaffordable. That's the only, like 2018, 2019, I'll dabble with a little bit of retail, but the newer stuff, they make enough of it and hobby boxes are affordable enough that I'll just buy a hobby, get my guaranteed. Plus the hobby boxes have a lot of exclusives. They have variations that you can only get in hobby boxes that are more collectible. You can just rewind rewind anything. Crown thy tank. It's on a DVR right now. If you miss something, just give her a little rewind. Two packs left. Then we get in to the tribute. Dom Smith. White border. How's the QC so far? It's good until like, I saw two cards, I think, that had like a little something wrong on the bottom, like a little bit of it got pushed up. Two cards out of thousands. So all in all, it looks good. But it's heritage, you know, heritage always is, it's usually QC on these cardboard paper, paper cards is usually pretty good. <clears throat> yeah it's crazy isn't it jeff the amount of top tier talent on the orioles it's it's got me really jelly what are the best retail packs to get <clears throat> i don't know it gosh, there's a Maybe uh, 2022 
Tops update. Jordan to 25 for the Astros. Going to Russell. And our hit. Paul Canerco to 199. That one's for Mike. Duel. Gold to 75. Anthony Rizzo and Garrett Cole. Going to need some thick sleeves if you open any heritage. And some thick top loaders. It's one of the benefits of getting in a break. Top loaders, sleeves provided. Collectible card guy says it's a good day to watch some rips. I agree. New cards on the block. How are you? Thinking about sending my autograph influencer card to PSA. You think they'll accept it? Yeah, well, yeah. Definitely. I don't know how they're going to confirm that, you know, if I autographed it, that it's authentic. I don't know if they have to reach out to me and get a copy of my auto or what. Another Yankees hit for Joe. It's a purple Garrett Cole pinstripe, couple of swatches, number to 50. What's up, BBF? Campanella. Gibson. Andrew Abbott, orange, to 25. He's on the mound tonight. I thought about taking him. Kind of want to put in an additional lineup with him as my starting pitcher. Because I just have that feeling, that gut feeling, that I'm going to regret it. He's cheap, and he's going up against the White Sox. We all know about the White Sox. Really want to do it. He's a minus 174 favorite on the road. And listen to this White Sox lineup. Robbie Grossman, Lenyon Sosa, Andrew Vaughn, Kevin Pillar. Yes, he still plays. Andrew Benintendi, Paul DeYoung, Corey Lee, Zach Reimelard, and Martin Maldonado. So yeah. Andrew Abbott, eh? Ichiro. Green's keeper with a dollar ninety-nine. Good evening, party people. Striker, what's up? What's up, Green's keeper? Did you happen to see the early Striker Breaks theme song? A new song. Everybody, if you missed it, scroll back to the beginning at some point and watch watch the new song. I think you'll enjoy it. Henry Davis Green to 99. That's his rookie auto. And that's going to the Pirates. Jack and Thomas getting involved again. Congratulations. Think there are any Brett rookies in the buybacks? I don't know. They, they'd probably be on the checklist. I don't know if they put all the buyback cards on the checklist. Convince you to do a parlay. Don't, don't, please don't. <laughs> don't take my word for it. I just, I'm just talking. I don't want, I don't want to be like, striker, you're talking about this team. And they, <sighs> but good luck. I didn't even do that myself. I'm just talking. 
talking about what I see and what I like. I don't want to have to put a disclaimer on the stream about if you have a gambling problem. Garrett Cole, man, did we get some Yankees in this box. Holy. Holiday has tons of pressure on him now. Well, he's been in the nine hole. I don't know that he does have that much pressure on him. It's only like media pressure. Team pressure, very little. He's surrounded by a great team. It's not like all the weight is on his shoulders to produce or else the team's not going to do good. Whatever he provides is bonus. They'll let him ease in. It'll maybe take a few games. Sometimes it does. To chill out, realize this is the same game he's played since he remembers. He's been around it his whole life. He's been around big leaguers his whole life. He's been playing ball with big leaguers his whole life. What cards am I ripping? Well, today we're ripping big league heritage tribute sterling and chrome update that's what's on the docket today sounds good james blue jays dodgers braves yankees parlay i mean let me let me double check that see if i approve Blue Jays against Ryan Felt. I approve. Definitely Blue Jays, but they're minus 225. So you're really going out on a limb there, aren't you? Uh, <clears throat> Yankees against Carlos Carrasco. Nasty weather. They should win. They should definitely win, but, you know, they're minus 138, which. It's Clark Schmidt on the mound, that's why. And the Guardians offense has been better. That's more of a coin flip, but I'll go with it. Who else was it? I lost it. There it is, Dodgers and Braves. So you're just taking all the best teams. Oh yeah, Braves for sure. Minus 198 on the road. Got a lot of road, a lot of roadies, except for the Dodgers at home. Yamamoto against the Padres. That that's another. You got just four huge favorites there. What's that payout? Like plus two hundred, plus one ninety eight, and you gotta get four teams right. I get it, and I approve. At least you didn't take some, at least you didn't like, let's see, who could you have taken that I'd be like. At least you didn't take the White Sox. For some like outlandish bet. Watch them win though, after I say that. It never fails either. Like I sit, I sit here and just like, improv baseball talk for three and a half hours straight and if i say one thing that doesn't happen the next day like i'm a clairvoyant man people keyboard warriors come out it's like bro come on you said brian reynolds was good and he went over four last night nice call it's like Slade, Slade, Sassoni, Jerome, time to Google this guy, not sure about him, but it's a rookie auto, W. You getting five to one on that? 
I like it. Corrado with a five. Just went back to the theme song video. Absolute fire. Hope you're getting that 100K personal rip ready. I forgot what that was all about. What am I supposed to personal rip at 100K? Something fancy. What did we, t what did we? Refresh my memory. What I said I was gonna rip. Thanks for the five spot. And I'm glad you like this song. The video, it, uh, you know, it could it can be better. Some of it's good. Some of it's generic. I was at the Tigers game, Nate. You should have said hi. I would have attempted to communicate. My friends bet that someone would recognize me, and I said, no, no one's gonna recognize me here. So I won the bet, because no one did. This is a pretty sick card. Encarnacion Strand, Chrome Rookie to 9.99. Plus I was kind of bundled up. Like zipped, zipped up to here. But like this, you could see this much of me. Yeah, I, yeah, okay. We'll figure something out. I don't know what to do for 100K. It's coming so fast. I haven't had time to even think about it. Who are the Chasers and 24 Bowman? Um, Dylan Cruz and Walker Jenkins. Number two overall pick and number five overall pick. Jenkins is like they're both really good too. So it's it's a it's pretty nice having two like potential superstar prospect firsts in a product. And then there's there's others too. Finnegan. Yeah, opening day. Yeah, I was totally there. I made a little vlog about it, Nate. Uh, it's the PSA submission video. I made like a little, I don't even know, four minute, three minute vlog or something. Just showing a couple of things about opening day. It would be, yeah, that last 39 card PSA video. Check that out. What's up, Chris X? Yeah, there's a there's a huge jump in subs after I hit fifty thousand. Co it corresponded with the release of series one, and I made like I made a video. It's it's probably almost at a hundred thousand views now. That Fanatics box video, and then there's a, a few others that like really exploded. Whole bunch of new people watching the the scratch off lottery ticket videos where I compared scratchers to football cards and baseball cards those are big videos a lot of new people watching those and then i made some basketball cards and hockey videos that a lot of people that didn't know about me found out all right i'll leave it in a top loader but i'm not putting them on the stage austin meadows Not today, sir. Thoughts on the Cardinals? Underperformers? I've got Gorman on my fantasy team. 
low batting average, a lot of power. They've got they've got some guys. It's just their pitching staff is not good. Their offense is pretty good, but their their pitching is just not great. And their two best players are over their prime. So it's basically downhill from here on out. Goldschmidt was having problems catching up with the fastball last year. And we were wondering if it was just kind of a fluke or, you know, is, he, is it that time of his career where he's going to be a little late? What is this? Why is that flipped around? Lorenzen's no hitter after the Tigers traded him. I don't really know what that. Let's leave it up just, just in case that's something crazy. All the Cardinals' recent rookies have been so hyped up and have not performed even close to the hype. Yeah. Yeah, Jordan Walker's a disappointment. I don't know what's going on with him. He's on my fantasy team as well. Got a couple Cardinals on my team. Jordan Walker, I think they got in his head, man. Remember they called him up last year and then like he was doing okay. And they sent him back down to work on elevating the ball. And I think that like messed him up a little bit. I don't know. Like, cause then when you start thinking, I heard the Cardinals announcers talking about that too, how if you're trying to elevate the ball, you're doing it wrong. You just have to, that has to be like a natural thing. Like if you're trying to just get under the ball a little bit and I don't know, that, that seems to be a problem. Hopefully he figures it out or else I'm going to have to wave him. I don't want to wave him. I, I spent, spent some money on him. My auction draft. Mason wins underrated. Well, since we're talking about him, it'd be a good time to and to pull up. All right. So, yeah, between like Mason Wynn and Vic Victor Stott, Scott, we don't have a lot of power there. Hold on. Let's see what's going on here. What has he done lately? I'm just looking at. Yeah. And just, just really not impressive overall. Another white border. But with any of these young guys, you know, we got to give it a... <laughs> Keith Hernandez, look how young he looks without a mustache. Oh my gosh. Keith Hernandez in a legendary autograph. So clean. Cardinals Keith Hernandez. John, congratulations. Look at that archaic photograph, too. It just... <laughs> it looks like that was taken with the first color camera ever, ever made. Just pass by a low number. Yeah. Another tribute. Yogi Berra. Frank Thomas to 50. Purple parallel. And Will Clark. 
to 99. That's a nice auto, nice hit, nice player, nice card, nice everything. Pillars of the game. Going to Jeff. Yeah, that would pair nicely with a rookie. Bryce Harper, Mike Schmidt, and Miguel Cabrera. To 199, stamp of approval relic. Going to the Tigers. We got 431 people in the house. Hit that like button, please, and thank you. Hi, Julie. No problem, Jeff. Strider, Clemente, and Daryl Strawberry. Blue parallel to 150. Going to Anthony. McGuire. Votto. And Jordan. Three colors to 199. We got some game used action. Going to Russell. Ready for Bowman. I know I'm getting a little juiced about it too. Kershaw, Babe, and Manny, Bat Relic, and Camo Swatch, Padres hit for Eric, congratulations, it's a cool one, I like that. Got two boxes left after this pack. One more box of Heritage, then the big boy. Juicy. What kind of box is it? Sterling. <laughs> Sterling box. Thinking tribute in my head. Jimmy Rollins, green to 99. He's got a nice sig too. For Adam. Thoughts on Holiday getting called up. Good for him. How's that for a thought? One final box of Heritage in this break. And then on to break number two. And Hel Mangual. Do you listen to Crime and Sports Podcast? No. But I'm intrigued. I do watch a lot of true crime stuff. I need a little room here. Uh, I have to go like this. 
There's some space. I got I got no space. Um, let's do it a pack at a time. I like doing this a pack at a time. That way I can I can tell where the hits are. Or where the variations should be. Which is right here. Gunner. Holiday doesn't look like he's going to say, yeah, I mean, it's too early, man. A couple of games. He could go out tonight and hit two bombs. Then what would you say, right? He, They got to go for, oh, like, 0 oh for 24 or something before it's, uh, it's looking overmatched. But we need a sample size. Manassas, white border. Yeah, Goldie and Arnado, they're, they're like... They're too old. Not to, they they could still get it done. They're not too old. They're just past their peak. So they're on their way down. Out of their prime. On their way down. Still have they both still have several years left. I would think. But those errors, like he made a the error where he was running backwards trying to get that ball that was in like short right center field and the wind got a hold of it after he, didn't he like strike out before that too or something? It was just that kind of stuff. You know, the game speeds up on you. That's what they say. He'll be fine. Matt Manning. Here's our chrome. Jesus. For the Marlins, number to 999. Going to Felipe. Vladdy Bat Relic. This game used to go into Ryan. How many breaks? We're doing three today. We got one more box in this break, and it's a big one. Sterling. There's the regular Ellie. We got regular Ellie and image variation. If you're curious what the difference is, this is the image variation. Just both of them are good photos. Dubon, low number. Wednesday, tops chrome black break. Yep. Crime and sports takes a deep dive into athletes' criminal history and is a comedy show. Hilarious, okay. Do they have a YouTube channel or do I gotta find the podcast? I don't listen to just regular old podcasts. I listened to Dan Carlin for a while, but he doesn't put out a lot of new stuff, it seems. Hardcore history, anybody ever listen to that? It's pretty sweet. Real deep dive on a lot of Historical events and civilizations, rise and fall of civilizations and leaders. Luke Weaver.
No YouTube podcast only. Oh, he's going. He's batting eighth today. Holiday. Okay. Ryan Ryder. Or, nope, sorry. Ryder Ryan. White border. You were listening to that today, Ian? What one are you on? It's been a while since I fired up some Dan Carlin. It's a good one for mowing the lawn. Clayton made an appearance in the Striker Breaks theme song earlier. If you missed it, rewind it. Trust. Get him, Clayton. Give us a chance at all of the glory that could be in this box. I don't really understand what EPAC is, witty banter. Can someone explain that to me? Green EPAC. Or a green PMG. I know what that is, but what is EPAC? I thought that was just like a virtual card. Is that what it is? A virtual card? Here we have postseason performers and stat leaders. Put it in the chat. What should we open first? And that looks super pale in this. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to look pale. <sighs> Stat. Stat leaders. Waiting for Witty to tell me what EPAC is. He's probably writing a sentence. A paragraph. Here it is. Yep, here it is. It's this service Upper Deck offers where you can open cards virtually, trade, combine them, and then have the option to have most cards shipped to you physically. Okay. So you're opening it virtually, but there's a physical, there is an actual physical card that you can have sent to you. Got it. Is it cheaper? And... Are, are most of the cards never distributed? Or do you got to pay more to have it shipped to you? I have a lot of questions, I guess. But first, stat leaders. Because they I know with Upper Deck, uh, with those Marvel cards, the Spider-Man Metal, a lot of people are talking about, oh, I'm waiting for EPAC, waiting for EPAC. And I didn't understand exactly what that was, but now... It's, it's what you said is what I thought it was, but I didn't know how it actually worked. Com C handles the shipping. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, it's going to be a good one. Encarnacion, yes, Christian Encarnacion, strand 23 of 25, rookie on card, dual swatch auto, game used for the Reds. I got him tonight. I hope he does well. I hope he crushes it tonight. Greg, this one's going to you, buddy. And this is a 
It's a really thick card. They've got these thick sleeves there at Card Shells too. He's code Strike Force. And they've got pre cut corners as well, which is very important for the thick cards, especially. They just slide right in. These are 130s. Yep. Postseason performers. Yeah, what what kind of stats is he leading? I didn't even read that. He slashed a 322, 386, 604 during his swift ascension through the farms. Got it. KC. No, I haven't done any yet. I I'm going to though. My problem with it is, wow, that's a that's a really thick card. I think we've got something here, ladies and gentlemen. My problem is getting it in a day early. Struggle with that. Okay, postseason. It's gonna go this away. Yep. Oh, Nando. Five patches on card. What is that number two? It's a 101. Got the Padres. Eric. What a sick, sick hit. 101 Nando. Spectacular catch in right field in his first game back in the Padres lineup on April 20th, 2023. He recorded a 100-mile-per-hour assist on his way to a platinum glove. Man, that's a... That's like a 260. Uh-huh. 260 point right there. It's the last hit of this break, the last box of this break. And we're going to look at the hits, and then we're going to move on to break number two immediately starting with this nando 101 you know what we got to do we got to do one thing real quick if I can, if this is too thick to even fit on the stage good luck the stand-up good thing the stand-up displays are adjustable there we go and this nonsense down a bit Timing wasn't great on that. Had to restart. All right. Give him his due. Encarnacion Strand to 25. Lizardo to 9.99, strawberry blue to 150. We got a Vlad up in here, game used bat. Jordan, triple three color to 199. Jimmy Rollins green to 99. Miggy stamp of approval to 150. Manny dual to 75. Frank Thomas to 50. Will Clark to 99. Keith Hernandez. Look at that young man. Another Encarnacion. That one's to $9.99 to Chrome. Canerco to $1.99 on card. Rizzo and Garrett Cole dual pinstripe to $75.
Slade, rookie auto. Garrett Cole, stamp of approval to 99. Henry Davis, green, rookie auto to 99. Andrew Abbott, orange to 25. Garrett Cole, triple, purple to 50. Jordan, orange to 25. Higgy, silver to 375. William Contreras to 125. Lindor, game used. We got a Chrome Dansby. An Ellie, image variation. If you zoom way in right there, you can see it says image. And then Yasmani Grandal, black and white, and Burt Blylevin, blowing a bubble. Time for break number two. Quick sweep. I'm ready to go. Welcome, everybody, in break number two. We're starting off with a Bob Gallagher buyback card. New cards on the block, eating a Lunchable watching striker. I love Lunchables, except guy like me needs about four Lunchables. I'm a quick rip. They screwed up a lot of the boxes. Yeah, I don't really care. I mean, I'm not saying that I don't care about what you're saying. I'm just saying that it doesn't really concern me too much that they put them in the wrong boxes. Cards the card. As long as the cards aren't messed up or QC problems or missing autographs, missing relics, missing, you know, that, that's the kind of thing I'm worried about quality control, etc. Black border, class A. These are to fifth, uh, num not numbered, but there's only, here's an error. It says white border. I can't like reach my phone to zoom in, but you know what I could do? White border. That's kind of weird. Double SP error card. Zach Gallon, low number. Oh, that's nice. Otani. White border. 2023 highlights. JP Crawford.
Thought time, Gavin. No, I don't have much thought time, Gavin Lux. Well, look at that, Gavin Williams. Is that a gold? Aha. Hand numbered 30 of 99. Gavin Williams, rookie relic. Going to Eric. Yeah, I like I like the stuff that's hand numbered for the most for the most part. Although there was what was it that we were opening that one time that had a bunch of hand numbered stuff that was like it was cheap for some reason. I don't remember why or what it was. I just remember it being like, why are all these hand numbered? a nice one silver to 375 Juan Soto in his Yankees uni for Jerome it's a sweet card Santander hit new cards Pavetta short print Dick Williams white border John Gray low number Twenty-two up day hobby box. Get some perps. We'll get a hit. We'll get some good rookies. I know the rainouts. Not great. It was ripped. Is that what it was? Do you remember? Just the breaks. Looking for an Acuna one to one of one. Yeah, we're doing three today, Bridget. We're on break number two right now. Just started. Yeah, rainouts are pretty rare for a Padres or Dodgers or Angels game. KC pulled a Rizzo 101 from Archive Sig today at the LCS. It was on a 2016 holiday card. Really? That's wild. Was it this year's Sig? 
Sig signature series, Casey. You just decided to... Was that all they had, or you were really yearning for a archive signature series box? King Arthur, what's up? Are you liking Heritage so far? It's good for a Heritage release. It's not fun to sort or rip, really, from a breaker standpoint. Not the funnest thing to open, but it's not bad. I like the design. I like that year's cards. And uh, there's, there seems to be more, like, variations this year with the, like, two white orders per box. Everything else seems to be about the same, though, as far as, like, how many autos per case you're getting. The relics are cool. We, we seem to be getting more hand-numbered relics. I've already pulled a couple of them. Like, if that's a case hit, which it used to be in the past from what I remember, but... Then I opened that 22 update. I opened three PC cases, and I don't think I got one hand-numbered uh, gold relic. So there seems to be more of those, like that's a case hit. So that's a plus. It's just another thing to look forward to. And then with like the missing facsimile signatures, and I don't know, it just seems like it's a little bit juicier than normal. Julio. Wonder... There's Royce Lewis, CJ Abrams. Win to play Trout home run card. Yeah, when he goes to Boston or Atlanta or Cincinnati. Um, something like that when he's on the road in the summer at a better hitting ballpark. That's when I would do it against preferably like a lefty but it doesn't really matter the hand of the pitcher but just a scrub pitcher but that doesn't matter as much either with trout look at this that's a refractor that is not bad royce lewis rookie debut refractor these are not easy pulls you know you only get one either parallel or autograph per hobby box We'll get him up there on the stage for Jeffrey. Picked Julio today. Uh, yeah, I was just looking at that. He's going up against a lefty, Jordan Wick. So that's a good that's a good choice. There's Julio. Ooh, brutal. Play all of them at Colorado. Yeah. They always just play them when they're at Colorado in the summer. But actually, uh, Cincinnati is a better home run hitting park than Colorado, actually. C Colorado is a better, like, all around offense park. Um, extra base hits in Colorado are a big thing, but the best home run hitting park, Cincinnati. But if you're like in Colorado and it's 85 degrees in the middle of summer, can't go wrong. I put the Franco in a paper shredder. Um, I did not, but I'll just let Mark do that. He'll get a little personal satisfaction from being able to do that on his own, maybe. Yeah, Boston, too, is a good spot for... But that's, that's a better doubles park than it is a home run park. Just not Comerica. 
and not Kaufman. When he goes to Texas, Texas and Houston are both relatively good parks to hit as well. Surprisingly, the Marlin Stadium is better. It used to not be good, but I, they must have done something. So it's gotten a little bit better over the years. At least last year. Milwaukee, another good spot. Uh, Chicago, Cubs, when the wind's blowing out. But the wind kind of changes, so having to pick it a day in advance you might you, you might luck out with that yeah but baltimore see baltimore used to be a really good hitters park but then they changed some things and now it's not as good of a hitters park it's it's actually more of a pitcher's park now quinn priester I think the biggest thing really is just you know there's all those factors that combine into it you can also look at you can also look at the vegas total but the vegas total is probably not going to be ready the day before so like if there's a big a big number the angels aren't going to have a big number typically unless there's a, a, po a very poor opposing pitcher or maybe like the opposing team's bullpen is also bad like that's a good combo is when if you look at the opposing team's bullpen and it allows a lot of runs and then also their starting pitcher is really bad, you got a lot of opportunities to hit a bomb. All the factors lining up in your favor. If you really want to dive into all the numbers, you can do that. But who's got the effort level to look at all of those things a day in advance and then get it in? It's like, just put it in July sometime. Uh, let's do hold on. Let's do another one of these first. It takes a few months, Nate. How many of the striker autographs are out there? Nobody has sent me one, like uh, from a fan standpoint yet. But I've autoed some for friends and family. So. And, and just, I don't know if any of those are going to get like submitted PSA style. I doubt it. Seventy six full sun. Mm. What's that like? We got some early games today on the slate, don't we? Starting around six. Allegedly the Tigers game. Twins at Detroit starts at 640. We'll see if that happens. Thought I saw that that got canceled already. Maybe it was the Guardians game that got canceled already. Pop that up real quick and see. Um, yeah. Yankees at Cleveland postponed. Box. Didn't even realize it. Good luck on the hot box. It's 
get all the good rookies. Gold Schmidt. Bader, low number to Garrett Cole purple. Marte. Ugh. White border, MVPs, Trout and Bryant. Bryson Stott, purple. Kevin Newman, SP. Oh, that's nice. Zach Geloff. Priester. Luis Matos, rookie. Hot box. Arnado. Josh Lowe. Yuri Perez, purple. Is it Ellie? It's a regular Ellie. Ujinami. Dansby. SPs for the set. The regular ones are numbered 1 through 99. And most of the time they're flipped around. But some of the boxes I've opened, they haven't been flipped around. So you're just going to have to turn them around and see. It'll be numbered right there, 1 to 99. Back-to-back -back Pete's. Look at that. You like those, Billy? Yeah, I do too. Even though it's a little before my time, I do like the colors and the member berries. It's just a joke, Nate. Just a running bit. This channel's all about running bits. Run them right into the ground and then keep on running. Scroll back to the beginning, watch the theme song. If you haven't seen it yet, new Striker Breaks theme song at the beginning of the stream. There's a whiteboard of Mankata. M. Sheehan. Purple hotbox. Julian, he had two home runs yesterday, I think, after not doing anything the whole season. He pops off for two bombs. This baseball's so weird. Oh, a gold. It looks like a gold. It's not, though. It's a refractor. <sighs> Gotta sleeve it up. Put it on the stage. Brian Wu, getting ready to come back. Let's just forget about that. Move on. Walker with a 499. A member. LOL, member berries. Thanks, Walker. Appreciate the super chat, man. Gavin Williams. Clubhouse collection. That is a game used relic. I've got that one in my PC, Jim. Yeah, there are times that we don't even say his name. But that was back in the day when everybody was in on a joke. There's so many new people now, Scott, that it's like you gotta you gotta get them involved. You gotta you gotta bring them in on the joke first, and then you can start saying he who must not be named.
It's a hot B. How dare you? Oh! What kind of a horrifying nightmare of a box is this? How about an Ellie or a Dominguez or any number of players? No, no, no. We're going to give Striker a box with a chrome and purple hotbox K in it. I'm sorry, Slammers. Scott dropping 10 gifted. What a guy. Appreciate that, brother. Yepes. At least we've got an Aaron Judge out of the deal. Ah, Clayton. Yeah, the printed on autos thing, you know, it's an old gimmick. Can't hardly do a throwback to the 75 without doing that though. Here we go, Machado. The Big Hurt. And... Valve Marte, 23 out of 25. Going to the Reds. Justin. Oh, we got an additional card in this pack. Nando. Gunner. Andrew Abbott. And our hit is Joey Votto. Another red. Stamp of approval. Clayton Soak on a Clayton box. I think that would create a black hole. We would best not experiment with such dangerous science. Bo Jackson. And Andrew Abbott. We have a Reds box, ladies and gentlemen. Has anybody else noticed? There's a lot of that with Tribute this year. Yankees box, Reds box, etc. Here we go. Justin, back to back to back. Look at all those reds. I think that's a sign of things to come tonight. The reds are going to explode for 12 runs. That's outrageous. I'll take nine, but let's say 12. I'm shooting for the moon. Not even trying to be accurate. Ryan Sandberg, let's go 12. That's a cool one. Cal Ripken Jr., an Adley Rutschman dual relic, bat and a black swatch, or Russell. No, he's a Blue Jay, Scott. Kirby. Barry to 75. Jim Edmonds. On card autograph numbered to 199 for the Cardinals. Mike. We got Jeter, Jazz, <laughs> dude, we get it, 
Another Reds hit. That one to green. Come on, Tops. You can do better with the collation than this. Maybe it's his fault. Gross. Cover that face up. Too much tug with a 12 month membership. Chat says, thinking about buying a case of 22 Heritage High number. I give it my stamp of approval. You know the drill. If you see me opening it for my PC. It's probably a good thing to rip. But get it in before those redemptions expire. Got Julio redemptions in there. And uh, Torkelson. Real one. Auto redemptions. Almost a full case of Reds hits. That's should have been mixed up more than that. And it's not just this case. Like I said, lots of cases are loaded with the same team. That doesn't make sense. Casey also approves double stamp of approval. Can you imagine? You can get a box of Heritage High number, 22 Heritage High number, for like half the price of this. Does that make does that make sense? So when would they expire? I don't know. I can't remember. I think maybe October, but don't quote me on that. You'll have to look it up and find out. It's this year. Oh yeah, KC says, redemptions expired at the end of October. Julio's the main one, yeah. The Torkelson, come on. Stanton. I'm going to have to trade Stanton soon while he's healthy. You know he doesn't make it through the whole year. He's actually performing well as well. Performing well as well. Got away with words. He's got, he's batting, well, 256, which is pretty standard batting average for him, but four home runs already for Stanton. It's just basically all about him being active and healthy and getting some kind of return for him. Kevin Newman, SP. Hey, there's our Chrome. It's Pete Alonzo. Numbered to 999. Good luck with it. White border. Uh, Merrill. There's Ellie. 
Mackenzie Gore. Julio, slow start. He starts slow. He'll heat up Wiki, and he'll be the best player in the league when he does. One of. Not going to. Not going to give him that honor over Mookie. Or any other. I mean, there's a bunch of good players. Like, Bobby's crazy right now. But when Julio gets hot, man, he... It's like him and Acuna, Mookie, Trout, when he's healthy. Soto. Can you imagine if Soto stole 20 bases on top of that on-base percentage? If he just had a little bit more speed, he'd have the opportunity to get so many stolen bases. But... You know, do you really want to steal a base in front of Judge? Do you need to? There's that Julian SP again. White border Stratton. <laughs> Bow starting to decline. No, there's the all the J's are in a funk right now. It's another two. They'll heat up, too. Yeah, Javi is straight robbing the Tigers. He's, he's the worst player in the league. Do you want me to back that up? I will. League average OPS plus for a player is 100. It's on a, it's, it's how you figure that out, okay? OPS plus league average is 100. So if you have a, 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 let's say if you have a 115 OPS plus, you're like a standard deviation better than average. If you have an 85 OPS plus, you're like a standard deviation below average. So you wanna be above average on your OPS plus. What that is, is it's adjusted to a player's ballpark. So you can't just say like, you know, oh, he plays for Colorado. So it's offensive stats, blah, blah, blah. No, Javi's OPS plus is negative 0.5, negative five. I've never seen a negative OPS plus. And Javi is negative five. I rest my case. Nate guessed 55. If you were to guess 55 and you were right, It'd be like, yeah, he's horrible, isn't he? He's got a 55. Try negative five. I don't know how that's even possible. He's so bad that like a little leaguer could go out there. Like, I don't know. It's, I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, Nate. I'm looking at it right now. It's on the screen. It's beyond embarrassing. Yeah, I like it too, NASCAR Vintage. I didn't know it could be negative either. I thought I was going to pull it up and it'd be like, like 25 or something. <laughs> I don't know, even 55 would be horrible. His on base is 0 .171. His batting average is 152. His war is negative 0.2. Oh, I think it's time to call it a failed experiment. And uh, just do one of these. Like, 
it's an embarrassment to the city of Detroit. Detroit's all about, you know, blue collar going to work, working hard, grinding it out. Like we, you, you don't gotta be flashy. You don't gotta, you know, be the highest scoring team. You don't gotta be any of that. We take pride in like defense, hard work, pitching, trying real hard, like building teams with positive synergy, like finding finding diamonds in the rough and building a team around it. Good old big league. We, I don't know. It's maybe one of the last appearances of big league. Unless you guys demand more SP chases. Look at the red. Super rare. Jose Ramirez, super rare red. No, Alessandro, it's uh it's not easy, man. Got to spend like 10 grand in boxes to find it. Pete Alonzo. Ken Griffey Jr. And Steve Garvey to 199. Come on now. Let's go into the Dodgers. Diego. Congratulations, Diego. NASCAR is not a bot. Why would you say that? He just likes this design. <laughs> Eric, how dare you? Arnado. Poor, poor NASCAR. He's not even saying bot worthy stuff. Piazza. That's cool. Matt Titt. That's number to 10. I thought that looked different. Red parallel. Number to 10. Going to Justin, congratulations. These cards are very cool. Clear, clear card. I don't know if you can see. Well, it's not completely clear. It's clear acetate on the front and it shows that design in the back. So you can see it through the back a little bit too. At least he's a good sport. NASCAR vintage, good sport. Devers, Cabrera. Do you think the bot would ever be able to respond to the question, are you a bot? I think they would just have a pre-programmed algorithm that they go through. Trust me, we get bots around here, I can spot them like that. I know a bot when I see one. One of the weirdest bots lately 
because there's like bot trends. One of the weirdest bots is there's one, there's, there's many actually that come around and they'll mark like, they'll do a, a timestamp on your videos. If you guys go back and check out some of my videos, you can see like they come around and, and they're different ones and they'll be like just time stamping the different things in the video where the like somehow the AI can go through and figure out where the different um, like the different scenes, different parts, different themes of the video are and they time stamp them. Normally I just ban a bot, but I'm like, thanks. That's actually handy. So I let them stay. Lee. Soto. They don't bother. They, they don't. There's no bothering going on. It's pretty cool jazz triple. To 75. I like the red. Going to Miami. Jack and Thomas. Trey Turner. Marte to 75. Jonathan India to 75. Yeah, the, the AI is pretty advanced, but... And this is... You know, I, I don't... I don't ever listen to people when they tell me how, like, things are going to change... I got to kind of see it for myself. We're not even close to experiencing, like, I feel like we're going to have a major economic decline because, because of like this AI revolution is going to take a lot. It's either going to be, I mean, there's no, there's no telling what it's going to do, but I've seen, I've experienced firsthand what it can do on, mul on multiple different levels. And it's insane. There's going to be like, Anybody who writes for a living, you're not going to have a job. Anybody who does art for a living, like 99% of those people aren't going to have a job. Um, music, no reason for it. Like all of that stuff. Graphics, art, music, writing. Those are just the first, the first level. The very, very first thing we're seeing right now that it's going to replace all those people. If not all, then like 99% of them. Because there still has to be someone pulling the strings to an extent. So 1% can keep their jobs. Corbin Carroll. It's probably going to be like a lot of doctors. Not the ones that actually do surgeries and things like that yet. But diagnosing. Olsen. And Riley, dual bat relic. You know, the whole telehealth thing that they did during the thing, it's just going to get more and more, better and better. Virtual. That one's going to Eric. Yeah, South Park did an episode on that. Too much tug. Did you see that one? <laughs> Where the plumber and the electrician were like billionaires. Remember, we were talking last time about how the truth is funny.
Yeah, like the well, I don't see a reason why designing all the cards that come out needs very much like human involvement. Like that should all be AI done eventually. The whole process of printing it all, like even you know, you're gonna have to have a human like quality controlling things. So there's still like little jobs here and there that are gonna be around for the simple humans, but um like the whole heritage set, why couldn't AI just take care of all that? Not only figure out all the players that deserve to be in there, but put them on the card too. The, a, a human's going to have to autograph certain ones, the actual human. That's about it, though. And then check for errors. Like your hometown. Make sure that's accurate. Human missed that one. Another Ellie. I get a lot of Ellies out of here. Austin Hayes. Yeah, Mountain View, California. The bot that got that one wrong, and the human didn't double check. Nolan Chanel. We need more movies about like humans versus AI bots. I like those movies. I like the books too. Anybody ever read Robo Apocalypse? Robo Apocalypse made me miss a flight home from Jamaica one time because I was too into it and in sitting there in the airport. <laughs> I'm sitting right at the gate, and I I was like, you know, we had to get there a couple hours early, so we didn't miss the flight. Sitting at the gate. And they announced over the announcement, over the PA, that the flight got changed to a different gate. And I totally was immersed in the book and didn't hear it. And then we glanced up. My wife was not reading. She was just sitting there and didn't hear it either. And we got stranded. Old Jordan Walker, step it up, buddy. Twins, Tigers delayed. Box of these cards are like 105 bucks. Hoping for aliens. Now that would be a cool idea for a movie. So the humans push AI too far and the AI computers and machines take over and then the aliens have to come and save us. It's a cool idea. And they're like, we've we go all around the solar system galaxy helping these idiots who let the AI take over because we've experienced it before and we know how to defeat them. And we have to team up with the aliens who at first we think are here to take us over, but we become friends because for some reason it's mutually benefit. We can work this all out. Why don't we just plug it into chat GPT and they'll come up with the whole plot for us. Oh yeah, yeah, plot twist. They're actually here to take us over. They just need to defeat the AI first. And then part two, the next movie comes out. We got to fight the aliens. And then we use AI to defeat the aliens. <laughs> Whoa. Developing it on the fly. Who needs AI? Yeah, part three, the chosen one. And then we'll just go down the hero's journey. 
The chosen one is born from the machine. Part human, part cyborg, part alien. Part, part pig, part man bear pig. <laughs> Sandy Alcantara. Jack and Thomas getting some hits today. And after a conversation like this, do you not ask yourself, like, what are you doing, Hollywood? They haven't come up with anything good in so long. I saw a list of the movies coming out in 2024, and like 70 of them are either like sequels or prequels or like number three, four, five, six, seven in a sequel. We just came up with a new idea on the fly during a live stream while I'm doing like five things at once. It's not that hard. Yeah, let's let's make Joker 2 a musical. Raise your hand if you want to see that. I guess it depends on how many women are watching right now, depending on who rose their hand. Judging by my demographics, there's probably about, well, the numbers say 40, but more likely five. It's a family channel, James. It's a ridiculous request. Brandon Drury. Look at that personal computer. Oh, that's an Atari. Oh, the first success, successfully, commercially successful personal computer, Atari disc. That was a success, eh? So we went to the moon six years before this technology. You can't go back. Story checks out. Dean Kramer. Time for the big boy. We got a one one in the last box. You did a great job. How about this box right here? Can I rip some PGA Tour cards tomorrow in honor of the Masters? Mm, no. I don't have any, and I don't even know where to get them. But I could show off my Tiger Woods rookie card. That's all they're talking about. MVP award winners and rookie of the year award winners. It's all about Tiger. Let's see, just, just go to ESPN.com. Let's see what's on the homepage. Oh, no way. Oh, there's Tiger. Okay. I was like, somebody else is on. Every time I've been on ESPN the last several days, it's been just a giant picture of Tiger and who cares who's in first place or second or third or fourth or fifth or sixth or 10th. It's just Tiger. It's like, hey, okay. he's a guy still. But what about the guy in first place? Let's talk about him. Did we vote yet? Celebrated family cards voted. Wait, Scott voted. Who got in first? Scott, MVP all day. Sorry, Liam. Rookie of the year. Gonna have to wait.
Greenskeeper's an OJ guy. Is this, the, is this the right way? I guess we won't know until it's too late. It's too late. And it's Freddie Freeman. Number to 10. Sterling season 2022. Triple. Going to the Dodgers. Diego, congratulations. Let me get this taken care of for you. Very carefully. <laughs> Greenskeeper, allegedly. I don't know what you're allegedly. I, I don't know what that asterisk is for, but I'm sure it's appropriate for many of the things we just talked about. So, an overarching allegedly. Are you talking about <laughs> OJ allegedly? <laughs> Did he still allegedly? Uh, or are we talking? Okay. There's so many things that we could use that for. Thank you. Are we back on the AI takeover? I don't know, but it works. I think I know what you're talking about. I'm going to let it just die in the hope that no one else talks about. Because you always get people fired up. If you even mention the moon landing. Game used something. And it's red. It's going to be low numbered. And I see multiple relics. And it's a sideways one. Oh boy. Oh boy. There's four of them. And it's four or five. Aaron Judge. Four of five. Banger. 2022 62 home runs. Whoa. What an awesome piece. Jerome. Unbelievable hit, man. Whoo. Very nice. I mean, the last card of the break is the hot B. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I love it. That is a gnarly card. We're going to start right there. And do a rundown of the hits for break number two. Aaron Judge, four of five. Quad. On card, game used. But that Freddy, also incredible. Seven of ten. Triple. Matt Olson, Austin Riley. Blue parallel to 50. Alcantara game used. Marte to 75. India to 75. Jazz to 75. Got Joey Votto in here to 99. Hunter Green, stamp of approval. Steve Garvey to 199. Jose Ramirez, super rare. Zekiel Tovar, game used. Pete, chrome to 999. Kill the vibe, K. Okay. Way to kill the vibe. Mike Piazza, red to 10. Jim Edmonds to 199. Andrew Abbott to 50. Here come those reds. Joey Votto to 75. Noave Marte to 25. If you like Gavin Williams, and who doesn't, how about a couple of relics? One of them's hand numbered. 30 of 99. Cal Ripken Jr., Adley Rutschman, dueled to 199. Quinn Priester, Royce Lewis, Rookie debut to 299, Fractor. Bang and Juan Soto, Silver to 375. And Class A, 
if you remember correctly, this, my friends, says white border. But we all know it's a black border. Number three begins right after this lint roller picks up all the particulate left behind from previous packs and cards. Soldiers that remain on the battlefield. Starting with a heritage box. Thanks, NASCAR. I appreciate that. Yeah, all the reds and no Ellie's. Larry Demery. Man, he looks really young there, doesn't he? a little link real quick. First of all, if you want to get involved, join the Patreon group. Become a slammer. Slammers get notified directly from me when I post a break. You can buy in if you want. And if you're curious or interested and what my eBay store has. Well, here you go. There's a link to it. Just gonna do the quick rip. Growing impatient with heritage already. <laughs> L. Wood pulled a blue sparkle Candelario error card out of a Walmart mega today. A lot of error cards in Heritage this year. Hit that like button. Let's get those likes up a bit. Last break of the day here. Then we'll get into some tops, chrome black mixers. I'm gonna do some personal breaks of that for Wednesday, probably. I don't know if we're just gonna do personal boxes, but we'll see. I'll put it out there. See how many people wanna do that. Maybe we'll do that Wednesday and then Friday we'll do mixers. Right, we're off. 
Mm, Betamax. Freddie Peralta short print, low number. White border, Lane Ramsey. David Bednar. Connor Joe. Mitch Garver. Glad to see Mitch Garver healthy. And Mitch Han We got both Mitches playing for the Mariners. And they're both righties. And they are both going to have a good game tonight. I think. I mean, at least they have the opportunity. Against the lefty, Jordan Wicks. It goes... Four, batting fourth. Listen to this lineup full of lefty mashers. Julio Rodriguez batting second. Then Ty France batting third. They moved him up in the order. Mitch Haniger batting fourth can crush a lefty. And then Polanco and then Mitch Garver batting sixth. Cal Raleigh seventh. Dylan Moore. But they, they got like one, two, three, four guys that can smash lefties. They should have a good game tonight. And they are only minus 126 at home. Games at 940, you got plenty of time. If you know what I mean. And Bryce Miller's on the mound. Every once in a while, a number just doesn't add up. And that's one of them. I'm sure there's a reason. There's something I'm missing. Why are you flipped around, sir? Campusano. Stevenson. That's why you picked Hulu tonight, indeed. Man, some of these autos, like I, I like you'll see me double check these facsimiles. I just can't can't tell if it's a missing missing one or not India bat relic lost open a new card shells discount codes real quick use them get yourself a discount card shells stand up displays dugout mugs Standworthy card number one is Jonathan India. You know, this is the guy I left off. I left off of my stack tonight. And it's probably going to come back to haunt me. But you can only have four. Sabali. But I do have India on my fantasy team, so I got I got a little bit of hedge of a hedge there.
I don't know, Michael. I haven't opened up a hanger yet. I probably won't open any retail. I was thinking about opening some, but... I don't know. Does each hobby have a variation? No. Some have, like, multiples. Some have none. Scott says don't open Megas. Yeah, I just, like I, I mean, I've said it a few times now. I prefer hobbies. I opened up a couple hobbies of this already. I'm not going to open a case. I'm, I'm going to open up a lot of Chrome, Topps Chrome. I'm going to open up a lot of Bowman. Like, I got to save up my money for Bowman. It's pretty expensive this year, and there's a couple of elite prospects that I want to chase. And I'd like to do... I mean, there's so many formats of Bowman. That's the other problem. Not problem, but just from a money standpoint. I want to open up a bunch of different formats on the channel. And that's going to cost a lot. So. I might do like a case of, case of blasters. I would consider doing... I probably won't do a case of jumbos and a case of hobbies. I might just do like one or two... one or two boxes of each of those and then like a case of blasters and haven't really decided yet. Yeah, and then of course Bowman Mega Boxes. That's like a whole nother format that would I'd like to rip some of. Mega Boxes, definitely fun. Danny Young. Danny Young, who are you? You are old. You are 30 years old. Joseph. At least we got an auto. <laughs> Look at these back-to-back -back gems. It's enough. Stop purple. Already went through these, right? Purple Melendez. Hey, we got two hits in this box. That's super rare. Those are to 75. You never see a green, man. Those are really tough pulls. Chase Silseth. 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 Going to Brian. Two hits in one box. That's wild. Twenty-three Bowman Chrome Megas are pretty inexpensive right now. Oh, dude, I already opened a case of those. Or two cases, even. I think I opened two cases for my PC, man. 
or maybe three dude i opened up a lot yeah i think i did three scott go back and watch I... and i just opened the mega packs so none of the filler just the meat it was like a, i think it was 120 mega packs i opened So I got my fill of 23 Bowman Chrome Megas. I won't be opening any more of those, at least for my PC. took forever just to open the boxes i think i did a like a quick rip of it and like fast forward it like 8x or something just to show like opening every all the boxes and how long it took it took forever and i was going not only was the video sped up like 8x or however it was super fast but i was also like opening them fast in real life too and it still took I don't know, I want to say like half an hour or something just to open the boxes and get the packs out, the silver packs, mojo packs. Yeah, lots of parallels, lots of mojos. I must have got, can't remember, eight maybe eight solace mojos i've got them listed in my ebay store right now some of them some of them sold yeah i think they should get another arm chris look at this adbert elzele autograph for the cubs Going to Sean. Rare Xander. Got our head out of here. Unless you count slider. Box of tribute. Rooster says, getting four totes of baseball cards from a friend. He collected early 60s through middle 90s. Should be some good pickings. That sounds fun. You going to make a video? You should make a video about that, Rooster. People like watching videos of that kind of thing. Picking, picking baseball cards and sports cards. And then you make your title and thumbnail around... The idea of, you know, I got this huge card. I'm sure you'll find one, at least one good card in there. To share at a 99 green parallel. That is a Yankees to share. Going to Milan. How have I been with the heritage cards lately? I've been I've been getting through it. <laughs> Cole, Otani. I'd prefer to do tribute all day long, but 
Byron Buxton and Carlos Correa to 150. Dual blue. Who's going to the twins? Adam. Barry Larkin, Ozzy Smith, and Dale Murphy. That's a purple. Number to 50. Going to Keith. Congratulations, Keith. Twins are on the board. Satchel and Olsen. And we got a relic in the middle. Is it a stamp of approval? It is. And it's our 75th Votto of the break of the day. Or Steven. Well, on the back is a green trade Turner to 99. On the front, Jackie Robinson. And in the middle, something special. Oh, yes. Anthony Volpe, whoa, this is special. This is the first one I've seen of this. Look at that. Volpe, 30 of 50, player-worn cap. How cool is that? And an auto on there. Whoa. Tip of the cap autograph relic. That is unique for sure. Milan. Whoa. What? What the heck? Anybody seen this pulled yet? That is, I'm going to put that up there as a hot B. And heck. fingers out of the wow congratulations cool hit Volpe is proving all the haters wrong. First one you've seen, Scott. KC likes it. You got Volpe in both your leagues. I didn't draft him. Nolan Ryan, I had a lot of shortstops and second baseman. Tony Gwynn. And a triple bat relic. Matt Olson. Number to 199. Keith. Uh, check out strikerbreaks.com, Ben. Hall of Hits. There's a there's a tab on top or a little link on top to the the page of the Hall of Hits. Once you get there, just click on the photos. There's like a little carousel of photos. You can click on that for a full-size view of all of them. I've probably got a few that I haven't updated, but some of them are on there.
farmer's load, hello. Colton Kowser in the last round. It is a 75. It's a little bit thinner than you would think for that hat relic. But it's really cool that they autographed it too. Because I could see it just being a hat relic and still being really cool. But the fact that you get the auto and the hat, that's, that's legit. On card. Bobby Wood Jr. for AL MVP has a nice ring. Yeah, it does. Ball, low number. Hey, there's a Matt McLean. That's a chrome to nine ninety nine. Yeah, we'll have that on Wednesday, Jeffrey. We're gonna be doing some personal boxes too, so it's a whiteboard if anybody wants to have me open a personal box for them. Join the Patreon group and you will be notified when the opportunity comes your way. I will probably list some on Tuesday just to make sure there's a little bit of extra time for any slammers that want to get in, and then I'll I'll list some more on Wednesday, the day of the break, to catch anybody who couldn't get in in the first batch. Mitch Keller. Comes a relic. Goldschmidt. Game used bat. Personal rip. You know, I just opened up a box, a, a individual box for somebody. We did that with signature series. And then on then we'll do mixers with black on uh, Friday. So if you don't want a personal box, or you just want to get in on the mixers, that's the schedule. But if you want Clayton Claus to bring you all the presents. What's up, TTM? <clears throat> Grissom should be coming back pretty soon. 
I think he's on a minor league rehab assignment right now. Arnado. There's Ellie. Key Brian. Yeah, that's sweet, Scott. Game use Randy Johnson bat. Yeah, Bobby's back right now, right? Bobby Dalbeck. He is... Uh, he was supposed to play today. It's not in the lineup. Let me check that real quick. What's up with that? Because it, it's a lefty. Oh, he is in the lineup. He's batting fifth. Sorry, I just overlooked that. Yeah, he's batting fifth. Against the lefty Reed Detmers. <sighs> mm, only if they give me the wrong address, Ben. Which happens, that's why I like make sure to tell people, make sure your address is correct before you check out. Because if you give me the wrong address and your cards go to the wrong address, uh, that's not good. And if I have to go back in and like void out the labels, manually like find your email and put in that right address and then reprint it, sometimes I gotta go back through after everything's packed up and dig through the packages and like, that sucks. You almost sent your e first eBay order to the wrong place? Hell no. You can like stop them in transit if you send it to the wrong place, but I think it costs like 15 bucks. Ben, I don't, okay, I don't, I'll have to go back and check. I can't do anything about it right now. Just make sure you sent me an email, a couple emails, something to try to catch it. Because I print off the labels right after the break sell out. There's a rare Clayton. About time for an influencer SP, isn't it? We haven't gotten one in a long time. Oh, there's something special. Black Salvador Perez. Number to 25. Now that is a rare hit. Ultra super duper rare. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, Ben.
I can tell you this much. The people at the post office are not stoked to see me. Although I'm keeping them in business. I'm keeping them with a job. <laughs> but when I walk in, they're just like, great. A couple hundred more packages that we got to scan in. Corbin Burns. Man, this, why is that so thick up there? It's like... Did I say Corbin Burns? Corbin Carroll. Didn't even know big league had number stuff. Barely any, but I guess they got blacks to 25. Oh, yeah, it's all good, Ben. I'd much rather hear it's not my problem. Yeah, I walk in there a lot of days with like two to three huge bags full of packages. And they go from smiles to frowns. Although it's just kind of a joke and friendly. As long as I get it there before like, you know, 5.55, they hate it when I drop it off late. Because I get all this stuff shipped out next day. Next business day. I've been getting some shipped out on Saturdays too if we do a break on Friday, but no guarantees there because they close early on Saturday. Striker breaks priority processing. Get your cards quick. Accept no alternatives. Next day shipping. Do I print them off a manifest? No, I have no such thing. I don't even have the ability to create one of those. Yeah, they just, like, my post office people are really cool, too. They just like to give me a hard time. And I let them. As long as they have a bin for me to put the packages in, I don't have to just stack them up on the table. But that's why I don't ship to internationally. So I don't have to wait in line to do all that. That would take forever. I, I don't want to do that. Dude, Liam, we had some of those the other morning. Two super loud jets fly over our house, and it shook the whole house. And they, it was, it was weird. I think they were like, I didn't see them, but I've seen A10s in the past, and I know what they sound like. Might have been one of those. I don't. Know. This one says white border too. Do all the black borders say white border? Looks like the human quality control missed another one. Silly AI. Doesn't know the difference between black and white. You think they're gonna take us over? They don't even know the difference between black and white. Just kidding AI overlords. Don't take me down first. Refractor Zach Wheeler. New Age performers, Manny Machado, Strand, Gary the Goat backwards, there's Ellie, Junior, so what release are you guys looking forward to most this year? We got Bowman coming out. That's a big one. A lot of people look forward to Bowman. It's a widespread release, too. You know, you can get it at all the different retail stores. So it's kind of available to everybody who wants it. So that's a huge one. 
I did a poll. Usually I do one of these once a year where it's like, what releases are you guys looking forward to? Surprisingly, uh, Bowman Chrome is a big one. A lot of people like Bowman Chrome. But the big ones, Bowman, Bowman Chrome, Bowman Draft, all the flagship releases. White Border actually says White Border. Congratulations. Bowman, Bowman Chrome, Bowman Draft, flagship tops, Series 1, Series 2, Update, Tops Chrome. Those are the big boys, but there's always some unique ones that people like. A lot of people look forward to Heritage, too. There's some different ones. Um, archives, the regular archives, you know, that's on the paper stock. People like that, too, because of the three years of the designs. And it's also available in retail. Of course, we got Topps Chrome Black coming out soon. And then there's the big boys, the expensive ones, the uh, gilded randy low number i've already had several of the expensive ones just come out right in a row dynasty white border davis hamilton dynasty and sterling transcendent Twenty-four chrome, five star, triple threads didn't come out this last year though. Bowman, a lot of people loving Bowman. There's our bat relic, Austin Hayes, Stadium Club. Yeah, they didn't do Stadium Club Chrome last year, which actually I'm okay with that. Heritage Miners. I don't like Heritage Miners. I don't like Bowman Heritage either. It's like Bowman Platinum, actually. A lot of people buy that, even though it's about the lowest end release. It's the it's one of the best bang for your buck autos, dollar per auto that you can get. Usually they're eighty dollars for a mega in the stores, and you get two autos out of there. Alman Ginter. Yeah, they, I don't know. I think they discontinued gold label too. Gypsy, they discontinued. You don't like it, Elwood? Gypsy, I love Gypsy. Stadium Club's a later release, usually like in July. But it got delayed this last year. So I don't, who knows? I mean, they're dropping, they're changing release dates on stuff. They dropped Tops Chrome Black early this year, a lot earlier than normal. Mookie, Lou Bob, and the hit is Nick Gonzalez. Hey, I haven't gotten many pirate sits today, which is a shock. This one's going to Michael. Angie's your favorite riff, eh, JJ? Wow. You put 10 on Bobby to go yard tonight with a 50% profit boost? What are the odds on that, KC? Pay 75, okay, so. What's he, like four and a half? Normally, what would it be? Like four to one, 10. Five to one, something like that. Because usually home run props are like in the plus 400 range if they're like really good players that hit bombs.
Clayton to 199. Upper deck, a piece of history. Yeah, I've heard of that. Like before the 50% profit boost. 434, yeah, okay. Yep, that's about right. You never get paid enough on those. Like it should be... You should be getting like plus 600. They never give you what you should get on those home run props. That's why it's like, well, might as well parlay that with like the <laughs> the Royals victory and something else that correlates, at least a two-leg parlay. Yelich to 50, purple. Trey. Four cards in this one. We got Yoshida on the top. Smith Shavers, our rookie. George Brett back there. And the hit is Acuna. We haven't gotten much Acuna stuff out of here. Giving the fish lips to 75. Stamp of approval. For Keith. Oh, a redemption? Do we have a redemption? Devers to 99. Hank Aaron on top. And we got a blue redemption. The last redemption we got out of here was uh, just like a little sticker on one of these cards. Congratulations. You are due to receive. Ooh. Tribute tandem book card of Biggio. Bagwell, sweet. Dude, that's going to be gnarly. Who's got the Astros? Eric. You're going to have to send me a picture of this, man, when you get it back. I'd like to see that. Tandem book card. That's cool. Too bad we could not actually opened it out of the box. Trout, Yount, and a Vladdy triple to 150. All blues. Going to Jonathan. I think we're going to have to double stack this one. Let's, uh, let's go like that. Of running out of space for this last box. We got two boxes left Heritage and then the big boy. Said no one ever, Elwood. Pulled the same card, ball card ripping. Already claimed it, just waiting for Tops to ship it. Yeah, I mean, you'd think like Bagwell and Biggio don't have that much going on. They could get their freaking autos in. Or was the AI running logistics on that one? Human had to step in. 
Take care. Thanks. You see, we run themes around here. We don't let them die. Till the end of the show. Then maybe we move on. Some remain for years. It feels like we've opened about 10 cases of Heritage, and this is only case number two. This is the last box of case number two. Feels like 10, maybe 50. Feels like 50 cases. Someone at Tops might have messed up. I mean, I was gonna just blame it on the AI as a scapegoat. Just a cover for whoever messed it up. It, it's probably not someone at tops. Usually, the like the people just don't get their autos in on time. When it's something like that, like a booklet, when you got to get it to both of those guys, the logistics of that can be tricky. And it's not just two scrubs that have nothing better to do, you know. But who knows? Who knows whose fault it is? I'm just going to blame it on AI's fault. Not very intelligent, are you? Man, they must be. They're going to send their future robots at me. My wife and I better get busy to produce John Connor, Striker Connor. You gotta get busy. Savior of mankind. Brendan Rogers white. Merrill Kelly. SP. Brian with a 499. Because of your breaks. Popped a box of cosmic gunner black eclipse supernova to 10. Volpe gold auto to 50. Costas orange auto to 25. Whoa, that was in one box. Thanks for spreading the love, Brian. That's a banging box, man. You're lucky to get one auto. Seems to me that those were coming out at like one per four boxes, something like that. Maybe you get three per case. Bow Chrome. Put him with his pal Wheeler. Max Meyer White. Tommy Henry. Low number. Oh, look at this. We got a real one. About time, man. We didn't get very many real ones today, did we? Mostly relics out of this case. Al Oliver of the Pirates. Going to Michael. Congratulations on the Al Oliver.
Here it is. You better get another one of these ready. Clayton, it's worked so far. Hey, Randall, thanks. Twenty twenties MLB All Stars. Sterling icons. Whoa. The feeling that's gonna be a good one. Which one? Which one we go first? Which one? I don't think you can get a used car for the price of this these days, man. Barely. If you do, it probably doesn't run very well. 2020 let's go Manny Machado, number to five, three of five. We got a bat, couple of patches, and a swatch on there. Quad piece, Sterling Seasons. Going to Corey, congratulations. That's a monster. Very cool. This thing is... Big. Bang. Set them there for now. We'll see which one's better. Out of these two hits, he goes here for now. But he may be overtaken. Either one of these can be overtaken by the Sterling Icons. This thing. Randall, thanks for the gifted. Icons, who could it be? I don't know what way this goes. It goes this way. Oh, it's an Ellie! 9 of 25. Ellie Daylight Cruise. Whoa! That's a big boy. Getting even heavily involved. Congratulations. What a hit. Woo. I thought it was going to be Ellie, but I didn't want to say it because it could have been Joey Votto. And then we would have been like, <sighs> Maybe a reverse heart attack would have came from that. Whatever that is. Well, there's too many good ones. Have we ever had a triple? 
First time for everything. I can't even back up enough. Let's let Ellie get his own. Look at the hits. We got Manny Machado, quad piece on card, Sterling Seasons numbered to five. Volpe, very unique hit here. Player worn cap auto, numbered to 50. Ellie De La Cruz, big rookie auto. Game use memorabilia, numbered to 25. Vladdy to 150, triple. Tribute tandem book card, Biggio and Bagwell. Acuna to 75, Yelich to 50. Oliver, real one. Clayton and Mookie. We got Bo Chrome, Zach Wheeler, Refractor, 575. Nick Gonzalez, purple. Votto to 75. Trey Turner to 99. Matt McLean to 999. Goldschmidt Bat. Perez to 25. It's a black. They're unique. Austin Hayes Bat. Matt Olson to 199. Triple. Dale Murphy. Purple to 50. Teixeira Green to 99. Alzale. Phil Theth to 75. Danny Young, rookie auto. Jonathan India, game use bat. And Byron Buxton and Carlos Correa. Dual blue to 150. We did it. We made it through another case of Heritage. We got some monster hits today. We got a new Striker Breaks theme song featured at the beginning of the video. If you haven't checked it out, do yourself a favor and rewind. And we'll be back at it with a new release 